What's up guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about anxiety and its connection with heartburn, acid reflux, GERD. That was something that I struggled with for years. I know many of you deal with that. There is a connection there. If you had a pre-existing issue with heartburn like I did, it can magnify it to some pretty crazy levels. I'm gonna share my experience, how anxiety actually causes this, and most importantly, we're gonna talk about some tips, some solutions uh, to help you out with this while you bring your overall anxiety levels down to fix the problem, right? That's what we gotta do. We gotta shut off the motor that's causing the symptoms. But I think some of these tips can really, really help you like they helped me. In particular, the last tip that I'm gonna give at the end of this video, so you wanna stick around. It changed my life, and I hope it can change your life as well. So, my experience with this, guys, I had a little bit of a pre-existing issue with heartburn. Nothing crazy, I would have a couple episodes a week, um, but I wasn't concerned about it. I didn't go to the doctor, I didn't take medication or anything like that. It was just more so of a slight annoyance. It would last about 20, 30 minutes, and it depended on what I ate, if I ate it super fast and how big of a meal it was. I was an overeater, uh, somewhat of a binge eater, <laughs> and I didn't eat the right types of food back then. I ate a lot of fast food, a lot of carbs, a lot of pizza, french fries, burgers, things like that, a lot of spicy stuff that really would flare up my heartburn. But then whenever I developed my anxiety disorder, especially after those first two weeks where I had tons of panic attacks every single day, I started to notice I had tons of freaking acid that was building up. Now the problem with this that made my anxiety even, you know, go up even further in, in extreme levels was that I had cardiophobia and I had health anxiety. So whenever I would have all this heartburn, I was like, is this a heart attack? Is this chest pain or is it just heartburn? You know, I couldn't figure out the two, so I would always panic. So I would eat a meal, heartburn would kick in, blood pressure would go up, heart rate would go up. I'd have this burning sensation that could be anywhere from down here in my stomach all the way up to the base of my throat. And the difference here was that my heartburn would last hours <laughs> after eating. And it didn't really matter at this point what I was eating. That's how bad my anxiety was, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, if you have anxiety, your stomach is gonna produce more acid. It's different for every person, but if you have even the slightest issue with heartburn before, now you have anxiety, it's gonna be really, really rough, all right? And we're gonna get to those solutions in just a bit. But I would deal with that every freaking meal. So this made my health anxiety skyrocket because this really sold me on having a heart problem right? Because I couldn't decipher between the two. So I would deal with that uh, little dilemma for probably the next year and a half. Um, I had many of these episodes, and I know many of you struggle with this as well. You eat a big meal, you go to sleep, you wake up an hour or so later, if you're lucky enough to fall asleep, and you got this lava in your throat. I woke up quite a few times, uh, had to go to the bathroom and puke because it's so it, the, the taste is terrible and it's bitter and it's just hot lava is a great way of explaining it um, And some of you will gag and you feel like you're choking right because it's gone up to the base of your esophagus It's crept up in there. Make sure that whenever you're going to sleep a little bonus tip and you're dealing with this Elevate yourself put an extra pillow there so it doesn't creep up as much I was kind of young and dumb at the time and I would sleep, you know parallel right to the bed so it would easily creep up and I had an episode like this probably once a week before I started changing things up um, but I would deal with that all the time as well so I had constant heartburn right and I would have these horrible episodes at night flared my anxiety cardiophobia through the roof health anxiety through the roof yada 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 right suffered just like many of you are suffering now I'm gonna go into some tips guys we're gonna talk about some solutions that helped me starting with some minor things that you can start doing today to something that I beg you to try, okay? So some easy things that you can start doing. Keep a journal, grab a notebook, write down what you're eating, what time you're eating, how often you're eating, see if you can pick up on some patterns, okay? Because I started to notice if I eat a lot of carbs, heartburn was a lot worse. If I eat spicy stuff, heartburn was worse, okay? So pasta, chili, uh, tons of rice, noodles, things like that made my anxiety skyrocket. So make sure that you're keeping up with that. You're keeping a list, keeping a journal of all these things so that you can start making appropriate changes. Also, how fast are you eating? Whenever I started to actually slow down, my heartburn wasn't as bad. So slow down whenever you're eating. What's the portion size? Some of you may have to start eating more frequently, but smaller portions, all right? What are you eating? I found that if I ate lean meats and vegetables more often, cut out a lot of the heavy, heavy carbs. It's okay to have some healthy carbs here and there, but cut out a lot of heavy stuff. 
my heartburn was not that bad. So pay attention to what you're drinking, okay? A lot of alcohol is gonna cause heartburn issues. I had to stop drinking as much alcohol and beer because that would make my anxiety worse. Uh, sometimes even coffee can do it. Coffee probably isn't helping you with your anxiety anyways, but obviously sugary sodas, things like that, juices, it's not gonna make things easier. Stick with water, okay? Stick with water, drink more water with your meal, take a break, you know, to take some sips, slow down eating, that whole thing's gonna help. Remember when you're going to sleep, sleep elevated. Also, don't eat right before going to bed. Like I said, I had a lot of those episodes where I'd wake up with that lava feeling in my throat. Make sure that you're eating a few hours before bedtime so you can have more time where you're sitting up, standing up, so your food can digest <laughs> instead of trying to digest it whenever you're laying parallel to your bed, okay? But also sleep elevated, put an extra pillow to help out with that situation. Now, to the grand finale, apple cider vinegar. You can get them in capsules or get this in capsules, but it's a lot more expensive. This is like three bucks, all right? Now, originally, whenever I started using this every single morning, it was for weight loss, helping me with my digestive system, things like that. I didn't really think too much about heartburn. Later, whenever I noticed my heartburn pretty much disappeared, I looked it up and a lot of people were saying the same thing. And it was actually one of the smaller benefits of this. Okay, so this is Bragg's organic. Make sure it's organic, uh, raw, unfiltered with the mother. You can get this at any grocery store. Okay, if you want to get Heinz version, that's fine. But make sure it's organic with the mother. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but you can see some stuff floating around in there. That's the mother, the extra nutrients that you need. So two teaspoons of this, guys. Two teaspoons and a full glass of water. Let's say something like this, all right? You need to dilute it. Do not drink this straight. <laughs> It'll be very bitter. You can add some lemon juice to that full glass of water. Stir it well. Drink it with a straw because it can be a little hard on your teeth. And then make sure you brush your teeth right after, okay? It can balance out the pH levels and acid levels in your stomach and reduce it. For me, cleared it all up. As long as I had a full glass of water with two teaspoons of this every single morning, zero heartburn, no matter how bad my anxiety was, okay? So please try this out, very inexpensive. And if you're using two teaspoons of this a day, this is gonna last you for freaking forever, basically, okay? Um, so like I said, I was paying uh, quite a bit of money for um, acid reflux medications and stuff like that. I didn't have to pay for that anymore. So you're gonna actually save money doing this. So try apple cider vinegar. This is Bragg's organic with the mother, two teaspoons and a full glass of water to dilute it. Add a little bit of lemon, drink with a straw, brush the teeth afterwards, okay? Let me know in the comments if you tried this out. And again, you can get capsules if you don't like the way. It's not the tastiest thing in the world, but the capsules, I mean, you're gonna pay a lot of money for that, right? So we're trying to cut costs down a little bit. Now, most importantly, you have to work on your anxiety. If you've not seen a therapist, you've never tried therapy, I'm putting a link for online therapy. You can do it on the phone, your computer. Um, it's a very awesome way to get into that. Try it out. Don't knock therapy unless you've tried it, okay? So I'm gonna put that down below in the description. Check that out. I have my own step-by-step -step blueprint on how I personally recovered from anxiety. It's not just about overcoming the heartburn stuff. There's so many different things, mindfulness, facing your fears, exposure, all of this stuff is included in that course. I tell you how I actually overcame this, all right? It's Elite Anxiety Bootcamp. Try that out as well. Very inexpensive compared to most anxiety courses and I packed so much into it, so the value is there. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the tips, the how-to, my experience, and I'm gonna hit you back with another video tomorrow, so be ready for that. But I love you guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you got value. Check out the description for more resources and help with your anxiety. Until next time, keep fighting.